In this quick video, you'll get some tips to help troubleshoot Max TV Stream if you ever have any issues. It may sound silly, but a loose connection in the back of your gateway or media box can cause a lot of problems and is easy to fix. A first step is to give those connections a jiggle to make sure they're clicked in and snug. If you're experiencing poor video quality, a quick problem solver is to unplug your gateway for one minute, then plug it back in. After about three minutes, unplug your media boxes also for one minute, then plug them back in. Often, doing this solves some problems you may experience with Max TV Stream. Your media box may also need an update. Check our Thanks for Choosing Max TV Stream video for how to update the Max TV Stream app. Another troubleshooting option for poor video quality is to force stop the Max TV Stream app. To do this, go to your media box settings and choose Apps, select Max TV Stream, then choose Force Stop and select OK. Then press the Max TV Stream button on the remote to go back to watching your shows. Sometimes, Wi-Fi interference in your home may cause issues. For a more consistent Max TV Stream experience, we recommend your media boxes use wired internet connections when possible. If connected by Wi-Fi, you may need a faster internet speed, an additional Wi-Fi device, or to have your gateway moved for a stronger connection. This may require giving us a call. Although not related to troubleshooting, one question that comes up frequently is about your first SaskTel bill amount after adding a new service like Max TV Stream. Since our services are billed one month in advance, your first bill includes partial charges for the period between your service start date and bill date, plus the charges for the next full month of service. If you want to learn more about prorated charges, visit sasktel.com support. Whenever you need help using or troubleshooting Max TV Stream, head over to sasktel.com slash Max TV Stream support.